Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. This week I am bringing you another Sim Speed build. I did something to my shoulder and I couldn't move my left arm very much or my neck um, or my upper back too much. I actually had to take a half day uh, from work on Wednesday um, because it hurt so badly and I just need to go home and just rest. So I couldn't, I really, really wanted to do a cosplay video of getting into makeup for a certain character. Um, but I'm just gonna have to wait to do that to next week. So I decided to do a speed build instead because it's been a while since I had uh, played some Sims and I really, really wanted to do this build. Today it is a country home in the city that is the theme. I had found some pictures from a real estate page on Facebook and it looked really fun. That's really where I get a lot of my inspiration from when I was apartment hunting uh, back in January and February. Uh, I started getting a lot of those targeted Facebook ads for real estate companies and they still keep popping up but it's probably because I keep clicking on them to download these pictures. Um, and save them for later. So here you can see me just fiddling around with the roof and the layout. Oh my gosh, this roof was a nightmare. Uh, the house that I was trying to model it after is a very country style home with a partial wraparound porch. Um, and I was really trying to get the roof right. Um, it kind of had this like the sloping front and then the, um, Oh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, please forgive me. Like the A-frame in the front and then on the sides. And then I also had it on the half turret on the right side of the house if you're facing the front. Um, but it just like, it looked, as you can see, like it looks like garbage. And I was fiddling with it so much, just trying to get it to fit and to look right. And it just, it wasn't just some, just sometimes the tools uh, just d they don't translate well uh, from uh, you know IRL to Sims but I eventually got it fixed I just had to accept that I wasn't going to match the picture perfectly and I ended up taking the half turret uh, right there out um, but this is there was a screen porch on the back but I couldn't remember how to do it or if you even can in the Sims but I had started putting in these columns and I really wanted like the thicker, darker kind of wood ones. Uh, the first ones that I put in were actually, I read the description, they were made of marble and I was like, nope, no marble. Um, I was gonna settle for these ones. I actually end up changing them to uh, th thicker, uh, dark brown ones. Um, but I settled for just a regular porch instead of a screened in one. I was having trouble recording. My computer was not wanting to run OBS, so I ended up doing a regular screen recording anyway, since I did not need the audio. Um, but yeah, um, for the family for this house, I was thinking it's um, husband and wife, and uh, they really like this um, country style home that was maybe had been here a little bit longer than all the houses around it before the city like kind of to, started to expand out um, and they got this older style home with the benefits of being near the city um, and they have two children they have a, a child and like a toddler um, I hadn't really picked their genders um, but you see that I'm taking the uh, turret out there and moving the roof back and it just looks so much better anyway um, yeah, one of them has a, uh, you'll see here in a, uh, a little while, uh, there's a little reading nook like out on the front porch. Um, and maybe the wife does a little bit of gardening. She has a, um, later I'll put in a jacuzzi, uh, uh, sorry, hot tub in the back. Um, one thing I really liked about this build is um, there's like a little mud room that goes off the side. Like when the porch wraps around, there's like a little, uh, there's a door that goes into like a side room. Like maybe when the kids are playing outside, um, the mom makes them go through that door and um, like take their shoes off so they don't track it through the house, uh, any mud or dirt through the house um, because she likes keeping things clean. And the dad, uh, I was thinking he's 
quiet handyman. Uh, later I put a workbench out in the back and I guess the, the wife can be too. They both like to spend time outside. They're very family oriented. Um, I didn't make a family for this, but this was kind of thinking the vibe I was going for um, with this. Um, but yeah, I really, it was a lot of fun trying to like deviate from what I usually do in a build um, with like the style. I didn't want to just do it like all vintage, like brass or just modern. Um, so I was trying to go for like the vibe that um, a house I actually used to live in um, out in the country. We're on 10, acre 10 acres um, and the house was like dated, but it had been updated, but it was updated by someone, by an older lady. Um, and they had like these, a lot of brass fixtures and they, most of the brass fixtures, if they had like this weird, I don't even know how to describe it. They were like green. It was like green metal. It wasn't like tarnished or rusted. Like that was the style. And uh, I was trying to go for something like that. Like the, uh, the mom is really into blue. That's why there's the blue shutters and then like an off yellow. And then the, maybe she keeps like the vintage brass fixtures. You'll see like the chandelier that I put in the entry hall um, is very like that um, old vintage style lamp. Um, and, but a lot of stuff is up, updated, like the, um, the hardwood flooring, um, it's, uh, is a uh, restored flooring and, um, but a lot of the original fixtures are still in. Um, yeah, I was trying to get the fence taller, like a more of a privacy fence and it was giving me the option to like make the wall taller, but it wasn't making the fence taller. It was making like the walls of the house taller. And I still know how to, uh, figure that out. Uh, I just need to do some more research on how to get this, the fences to cooperate. I can't get any like the single door ones to work for me without them being super short. I don't know if I just need to get more packs or, or what, or there really aren't any like options with base game. But anyway, I was putting in light fixtures, um, in the picture, uh, they had like one, uh, the light fixture, of the front door, like matched perfectly kind of that, a, um, uh, like that drop down chandelier style, uh, single singular chandelier style in front of the door. Um, this house, uh, is going to be a, a is actually already available, um, on my, uh, uh, up in the gallery, I almost forgot what it was called. But anyway, here I'm working on the backyard. I wanted to give it like character, like they like to spend a lot of time outdoors. Um, I put the monkey bars up for uh, the kids and then the hot tub, um, thinking like the mom likes to spend a lot of time in the hot tub. Um, I don't really know what uh, her or like their jobs are. I guess it really could be anything. It could be like a uh, freelancer, like a regular nine to five, but they, I feel like they're, pretty family oriented, like I said earlier, but, um, yeah, uh, actually a lot of the interior, um, just like the interior building, uh, including like trying to work out this monster of a floor, pl floor plan. Um, it didn't save my screen recording didn't save or it wouldn't, I should say. I thought my computer didn't have enough room on it and I tried to put it on my hard drive and I knew my hard drive, I had plenty of space to put it on there and it just it wouldn't it like corrupted itself and i was so upset because i had decorated the kids room the kitchen which i love watching kitchen builds the dining room uh the kids bathroom and it just it wouldn't save and i just i was just so tired with all the computer problems that i was having having um that i was just like you know i'll just touch on it um, make sure to get a good screenshot of the kitchen in there. Uh, but it was very, very disappointing to have that not work. And I'm so, so sorry about that, but I promise there is plenty other interior building, uh, and cluttering going on on the inside, uh, that I did happen to save. I think I just recorded for too long. Uh, the recording was over an hour. It was like an hour and eight minutes. And I think the, comp uh, the computer was just like, no, I'm not going to save this. You're crazy. But here I am making a little reading nook um, outside, a little succulent and like the fun, the fun chair, a little pop of uh, 
uh, like a little pop of pattern. Um, I put some rugs out here in a little bit. Uh, just some like those really thick woven rugs. Um, like I said, mom, I guess dad too, does not want any dirt inside. So yeah, just putting, um, let's put those thick woven rugs out there. Um, I, yeah, you can see it goes uh, right into the interior and you see most of it's already, been, a lot of it's already been built, but luckily still have the living room, the master bedroom, um, and the entry hall and the master bathroom. So, oh, that's that little uh, like mud room right there. It's kind of hard to see with the walls down, but you can see it can just goes from that side door to uh, the dining room. It was the only place that it really worked out. I was building, uh, I was doing the floor plan and it was like, oh, okay, here we go. And then I realized that I hadn't left room, any room for a bathroom. And I managed to fit two in. They're very, they're quite small. Ugh, I thought I had a lot of room. I like building, it's like, oh, it looks pretty big, but it really wasn't big at all for the style that I was going for. I, need, I think I needed to make it a little bit larger, but it worked out. But you know, these country style homes, they're very cozy. Um, you don't like, you're not gonna spend a lot of time in the bathroom. And actually, if, as you can see there where the shower, the toilet and the sink is in that kid's bathroom, I actually end up bringing that wall right there with the mirror on it. Uh, and then your hall, um, that bathroom wall into the entry hall because when I was play testing the sim could not get uh, into the bathtub any way that I moved it so I had to bring that wall out and expand the bathroom because that, that bathroom needed to have a tub in it because the toddler that lives in this house um, but it works out uh, the entry hall is a little bit smaller but it still it works fine I play tested everything making sure the sims could get in and out um use all the facilities and i think the only thing i didn't play test was if they could get through that back hallway anyway yeah i think like the color scheme is like those muted yellows like the creamy yellows white furniture and like blue as well I actually changed the swatches of the master bedroom set uh, from this brown to the white a little later on I really like, I believe these are ba base game lamps. I really like them. I don't think I would have one in my bedroom, but I think they really, f uh, personally, but they really fit. And this is one of my favorite rugs too, but it really fit like the, um, the, like, the kind of vibe I was going for, like this modern, but goes with the vintage. Um, I was putting some curtains up and I really like the living room too. Cause the living room is like that weird, L shape, um, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, the master bathroom is very is very simple: shower, sink, toilet, um, and then mirror. Uh, I really wish you could uh, <laughs> the um, re recording of the kitchen had saved because the kitchen was a lot of fun. I had tried some new techniques that I picked up from watching um, other. Sim, uh, Simsers, Simmers, are they called Simmers? Anyway, but uh, just like moving things around and uh, I did put in a fireplace here in the living room because I felt, I was like, look, a, a little country home needs to have a fireplace. Um, and I didn't want to put a huge TV up there and I was like, no, this family has a big TV. They have like a child slash teenager, toddler slash child. Um, they need a larger TV, maybe a little sound system. Um, I, I love these couches and furniture that came with Tiny Living. They are so cute. I just, I love the style and the colors, the yellow and the blue is, um, unfortunately unfor slash unfortunately, I think I'll be using them a lot in my builds. Um, but, um, uh, yeah, I, I really, uh, like the furniture that came with this. Uh, came with um, Tiny Living. Um, I, If any of you know how to tilt the camera, like to really get down into a room, because it's really hard to build when you're at a 45 degree angle the whole time, but I can't figure out how to tilt. I've looked up so 
many things just like trying to figure out how to tilt the camera and a lot of them are like oh it's first person you need this mod but it's not what i'm looking for like the one that i have downloaded is what i use to take screenshots to where you can tilt the camera but it like takes the menus away it's not like you can't like tilt your way down into the build in order to get like into smaller spaces and that's why i haven't really done a lot of cluttering um in uh my speed builds all <laughs> two of them um because i just can't get down in there and it's a lot of work uh, but i really want to do more cl cl cluttering but yeah we're coming up on to the screenshots i hope you enjoyed that it is available to download in the gallery so please go check that out It'll be linked below thanks for watching bye